What's going on everybody? Welcome back to M for Movies. Well, uh, today we have a uh, TV series. Uh, this is a brand new series on Netflix called History of Swear Words. Uh, yes, this is six episodes, 20 minutes each, so it's pretty much like you're watching a two-hour movie. All right, basically what this is, is this is actually hosted by Nicolas Cage uh, himself. Uh, this is the first actual collaboration uh, between uh, Netflix and, and Mr. Cage. Uh, and then it also includes a whole bunch of uh, well-known comedians, uh, some some actors, some actresses, some, some, um, some artists. Arthurs uh, who have PhDs who 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 have worked with uh, language and and linguistics and wordology and dictionaries and all that uh, and uh, pretty much uh, pretty much they break down uh, a specific swear word uh, for for uh, for each episode and then they they they, they just go over the history. Uh, and 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 why they like specific, you know, you know swear words and stuff. Uh, it also has for movie buffs out there. It does have uh, movie clip clips of uh, of uh, certain times when when the words were were used. And so uh, so which is an aspect that I actually liked very much. All right, so. Uh, I'm not gonna specifically, you know, say the words, uh, but uh, but uh, you'll you'll get the gist. All right. So the very first episode is is the F word, uh, rhymes rhymes with truck, um, and uh, and that was a that was a great episode to start off with because that is the most common uh, swear word out there. Uh, the second one is uh, is the S word. Uh, rhymes with uh, hit uh, in, in another common one uh, and then we have the B word uh, rhymes with uh, witch or pitch um, and then we have uh, the the nickname for uh, the guy named uh, Richard uh, so uh, yes that was the fourth episode and then the the fifth episode was a slang term for a cat, uh, which uh, starts with P, obviously. Uh, and then and then six was one where uh, where it's 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 kind of I mean it is it is a swear word, but it's slowly kind of getting into usual uh, conversation, and that is uh, that is damn. Uh, so I, I'll say damn because it's, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, but, but in general, uh, with this small little series, I could see them doing like, like a, uh, like a second, like a part two, uh, just, just, just branching off with, with six more other, uh, swear words. And, uh, and, this seemed like a really great series that they could do around, you know, you know, have production around, uh, around the pandemic and all that, uh, because, because it wasn't, uh, a lot of the people were actually, you know, secluded, like, like in their own space and all that. Uh, and, and you could probably tell that probably, uh, this, the, uh, um, all the narration and, and, and scenes with Nicolas Cage was probably just Nicolas Cage, uh, the uh, the uh, camera crew, and probably you know like the director or whatever, or producer or whatever. Um, so there wasn't a lot of people around, you know, around the set and all that. And actually, I think I think Nicolas Nicolas Cage did a really great job uh, narrating this type of series, and and it is a series that you would see Nicolas Cage. Uh, doing so um so in general uh you know this series is is listed as a tvma you know tv mature 
it is it is definitely a uh, a, a series that I don't uh, recommend anybody under you know 17 watching. Uh, so so pretty much pretty much if you can't see a rated R movie, uh, you know without a parent uh, in theaters or or you can't buy a rated R. Uh, Blu-ray or or, or or 4K. I don't I don't recommend uh, seeing this series here. Um, I I also don't recommend watching this series with with like your mom or like your grandma or something like that. Um, with your dad, if if your dad is uh, is is cool with this uh, with this language around you, sure sure. Uh, but definitely not, definitely not with your mom. Uh, but uh, but yeah. But if you're just if you're just a bachelor like me, and you just want two hours to uh, to uh, have a good time, learn more about history of of famous swear words. Uh, I definitely do recommend this series, and uh, and it's really rough for me to give it a rating. Uh, I'm just going to say that uh, that uh, if you're interested in it. Uh, have a good time. Turn on for two hours, and uh, and and just 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 have a good time with it. Um, so, pretty much there. There is my review for history of swear words. I really doubt that most people will probably uh, do this review. Maybe, but hey, I just did it. So, yep. Subscribe, like, and comment. And I will talk to you all later, and uh, have a good week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.